Good afternoon everyone, this is James the Local Viking, and in today's video, we're going to go over setting up keyword buckets in Local Viking. So a keyword bucket is just a group of keywords that are essentially variations of the same keyword you're focusing on. For this example, this is our demo listing, but let's say that this was a law firm. Let's say they were a personal injury law firm, right? So we're going to go in and start setting up some keywords to track. Um, keywords for, for a personal injury law firm might be personal injury attorney. A keyword might be car accident attorney, right? Uh, maybe a work injury attorney, work accident attorney. Now, most people might stop there, and this is fine. Is not say it's right or wrong, but if you stop here and these are all owing keywords you track, and any one of these goes uh, drops in rank, you may or may not be inclined to figure out what happened. You may or may not start doing a lot of extra research and work to see why your ranks dropped on, say, personal injury attorney, right? Maybe it was a change you made to your website. It could be a number of things, but this could be a false signal because Google has ranks for every keyword and every variation of keyword. Just because you rank strong or not for one variation of keyword doesn't actually mean you rank strong or not for all the variations of that keyword. So the best thing to do is to make a bucket of, uh, to track a bunch of variations of the keyword you're actually trying to target. So personal injury attorney, we're going to do personal injury attorneys. I'm just going to type out a few here. Personal injury lawyer. Do the same thing for car accident. And we'll do it one more time for work accident. Oops. So right away, now we have four variations of essentially the same keyword. We could take it a step further. We can take these four and let's say, let's say this guy was out of Dallas and we can add the city on, on the end. All right, and now we made a bucket. We have eight variations of what essentially is the same keyword we're targeting. So instead of three keywords total, we now have 24 keywords total. So what this does for us is if personal injury attorney dropped in ranks, but the seven other variations are relatively strong in ranks, probably not the biggest deal in the world. Now, if five or six of these keywords dropped in rank out of the eight you're tracking now it might be more of a cause to investigate to see what's going on but it's going to reduce the amount of false signals you get when you're tracking keywords and this concludes our video on creating buckets for your keywords in keyword tracking and i look forward to seeing you in the next video take care now